Straddler, where are you? Get back in your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. Hey friends, so here we are, it's Tuesday after the Remembrance and Veterans Day long weekend, uh, depending where you're from. Last night was insane. Um, I knew that there was rain and possible thunderstorms coming, but there was more than thunderstorms. It was thunder, lightning, the rain was literally sideways with the wind. Um, <clears throat> neither of us got much sleep and we woke up this morning at about five to seven uh, the phones went off with a tornado warning uh, so at that point I'm like okay I gotta start packing up so started packing up the trailer and basically I was like okay well I'm gonna get soaked so shorts and a t-shirt and I went outside and the whole campground was like literally under at least eight inches of water right packed everything up got soaked everything soaked the rain was still going sideways, so I literally pulled out of the campground with him in the trailer slowly just to get away from the flooding so that I could get him out without him being soaked. But by the time walking from the trailer to the truck, he was soaked anyway. So we're both wet. We're both okay. Um, the bright side is it was like a hot shower. Um, it's 18 degrees now and it's, uh, I don't know, 10 to 11 in the morning. And... You know we just basically hit the road got out of there the roads to the first ferry so from Cape Hatteras down to the ferry <coughs> covered in water um, there was standing water probably a foot deep in some spots um, I didn't get any footage of that just because we were kind of freaked out and just trying to kind of get out of the area a little bit um, but I did get some on this island which is Ocracoke Oak Island um, and we're basically just, we got here early for the second ferry that takes us back to the mainland. So there's the, the one outer bank island comes down, kind of comes a little bit of a dog leg. Um, and then there's a ferry, a free ferry that takes you kind of around the inlet because it's a protected area. So it goes out and then back, drops you off at Ocracoke Island and then you drive a little bit, I think it's like 50 miles, and you get to the ferry on the other end of that island, and that one I think is a two and a half hours or something, and it will take you to uh, the mainland. Um, probably going to Walmart and Moorhead tonight. Um, I think the switch on my fridge went. It was working fine, and then once in a while it kicks off. So you just kind of got to, you know, put it up to off for a second and then back on and it kicks back on. Uh, I tried that and there was no back on. The switch is feeling really stiff and wonky. So I don't know if maybe it got some, some water somehow in there. I don't know. I mean, the wind was blowing pretty hard. There was a couple spots where you could feel a little bit of mist coming in around the windows and stuff just because it was, it was howling. Other than that, we're fine. We're just hanging out, waiting for the ferry, and uh, apparently Rollins is now going to have his breakfast. Because he, he didn't eat last night because he was too freaked out. So he's been sitting here, keeping an eye on these Canadian geese over here that are uh, getting worms out of the grass. And what are you doing? Feeling better? So it's currently not raining and the sun is trying to come out and it was trying to come out on the first ferry. So hopefully we're in, in store for a little bit better weather in the next couple of days so we can dry out. But uh, yeah, so I'll keep you posted and we'll talk to you soon.
Is that a goose? Rollins, are you watching the goose? You can't chase the goose. <laughs> no, you can't. I know, I know you want to. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> Rollins, hey, what are you doing? friends so it's Sunday November 18th we finally found this place and it's Rollins approved he's been running around like a madman easy He deserved this. He's been a really good boy in the truck, being patient and bored. We found a fish thing, a float. A little off leash run time, never hurt him. What do you got? What do you got? He's been really, really good in the truck and really patient. So this place, I'm pretty sure it's okay. He's off leash for a bit because we're out in the middle of the wilderness in Tate's hell. 
State Park. Now, it's uh, this spot is number 47 called the Oxbow Campsite. It's right on the river, as you may see behind me. Uh, Rollins has already decided to uh, take himself for a swim. And now I have a wet dog on my hands. And it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, so it's going to be cooling down and he'll be... Get out of there! We'll show you around. Uh, it took me a little finagling to uh, get backed in here just because I pulled in forward. I knew it was big enough to pull into, but it took me a little bit to turn it around, mainly because I'm still poopy at backing this fifth wheel up. I'm not used to the turning radius of it. But anyways, here we go. So here's the river. Now I've noticed uh, some trash here and there. Some of it, <laughs> some of it may be from the hurricane because Hurricane Michael did come through here and the national park close to here is actually closed. Um, I was looking at sites there, but uh, a lot of it's still closed. But uh, this is a river view. There's the wet dog playing with his ball. And there we are. So yeah, like I said, there's uh, some trash. Obviously the water blew this stuff, stuff up, but there's some beer cans in the fire pit, et cetera, et cetera, and some stuff over here in the bush. Because, you know, assholes. God forbid they take it with them. But anyway, call it like I see it, and there we are. The panel set up for Eastern Sunrise. Dog is gathering firewood, apparently. And... Yeah, we are here for eight nights. I booked it online and uh, hopefully we're just gonna not experience any of the long weekend that's coming up for Thanksgiving in the US here. Um, I didn't really wanna be on the road for that. So this is going to be home while we do that. And of course we will get out and uh, do a little exploring in the truck, but I won't be towing. Um, this campground is really spaced out. I think there's only like five sites or something, but they're like all over the, the map. Um, we came in from the northern entrance and I believe it will probably be easier to get out the southern entrance. Um, we'll know more once I actually drive that road, but coming in from the north, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It was pretty dipsy doodle. Uh, there were some pretty deep potholes, some muddy sections. Um, if I didn't have four-wheel drive, I probably would have been trying to turn around back up. But anyways, we made it. We're set up. Dog's happy. Uh, I'm happy that uh, I can let him go when he doesn't go far. He's right here. So as long as I'm around, he's around. So that's good. Sun setting. I'm going to grab a frosty adult beverage and, and relax. What are you doing, dog? Rollins. Doing in the water. <laughs> so we're, uh, Still in the middle of our week here at the edge of the Crooked River outside of Carabell, Florida. And uh, it's a nice day, so Rollins and I are going to go for a little drive and do some exploring. And since we're heading into town, I'm going to stop and see if I can find a place to get rid of the two bags of garbage that I picked up. Um, like I mentioned earlier, most of it I think was from the hurricane. Just washed ashore uh, as the wind and water came through. Um, You'll see the pine straw is all washed up here. That's what it's, that's from, I imagine. And um, yeah, we tidied up a little bit. We'll be leaving it better than we found it. If everybody did that, it'd be a wonderful place to live. But until that happens, we do what we can, right? Okay, um, off we go. Up, up. Good boy.
you doing up here? Hey, what are you doing up here? This is a picnic table. Not a dog lounge. Huh? What are you doing up here? What do you see? Who's a cute boy? What, are you getting down now? It's like working with a monkey.